best fit for the rider if the rider sits in the saddle where the seat is as wide as the seat bones are. Now, here, we definitely want a saddle what's wider in the back in order to accommodate the wider seat bones. Now, if I put a female in the male saddle, I would see clearly how the seat bones are over the actual seat foam. And the only contact point is right there where the underwear line is and right here on the soft tissue. We have no support on this male saddle. The female hangs with her seat bone over the edge. Here we see on the male how he sits with his seat bones comfortable in the soft area of the saddle and therefore no pressure on the pubic symphysis or any parts it could be very painful. What would happen if the female rides on the male saddle? From the front, you can see clearly where the most contact would be. If you're sitting on your seat bones, you can easily pivot your pelvis back and forth or left and right and give the proper aids to the horse and you're in balance. If I look at this particular picture, the female riding in the male saddle, the lady would automatically protect herself, roll back, would get really, really, really stiff here. Very common disc problem in L4 and 5. And when they roll back on their seat, this area here, not uncommon that people say I have a lot of pressure on my tailbone or my pubic symphysis, and by the way, I have never yet felt my seat bones when I'm riding. That would be the case if a female rides in the male saddle.